welcome to our show today uh, today we're going to talk to mr rohit from aqi india and uh, we get to know about the air pollution monitors which they're setting up uh, nice to have you on our show today thank you for having me yeah we've i've got one of the monitors set up at my office too and uh, yeah it's the, we just saw the pollution at this office right here the aqi office like the best air quality in delhi right now yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got a 17 that's good it's going to go down okay it's calibrating yes. it would be green yeah. no matter where you take this monitor in this office and even if you try it on diwali it's going to be okay green so uh do you have such good quality in your office because of the air pollution uh, machines or the plant no so uh, we have designed this office and we have customized a machine here which is working kind of like air purifier but not exactly like air purifier okay it brings in the air from outside it goes mm-hmm. through stage of different filters okay and then brings in the air but at the same time you're being exposed to the fresh air right you're getting fresh air inside mm-hmm. the office so the co2 levels which people don't usually know and don't mm-hmm. talk about co2 is pretty mm-hmm. low as well in this office mm-hmm. it should be less than 800 okay. in your offices and less than 600 yeah. in your house where you sleep and we try to maintain a co2 level of less than 600 even when you have mm-hmm. 20 30 people inside the office yes. uh Can you tell us about the monitor, like the AQI monitor? What all data does it show us? So these are the monitors that we have placed around the India. Yeah. All the monitors which are inside the country yeah. are being placed by our people from this office. It's a very basic monitor, a small device that tells you about. particulate matter 2.5 mm-hmm. along with temperature humidity and noise a lot of people ask us why are you putting the noise in yeah. the monitors noise basically gives us an idea of traffic yeah. we can correlate the traffic <coughs> with the particulate matter okay. and get a better picture of why it's yeah. happening and This has a SIM card inside so it does mm-hmm. not really need a Wi-Fi connection. Yeah. So regardless of where you place in the country, it has a GPS module. Yeah. So you just plug it in the power and we start getting the data on the map. Yeah. And uh right now you're setting them up for free. Uh, They are all for free. Uh-huh. All every single monitor we have not charged a single penny from anyone. Yeah. they're all there for free. Diwali you got a really high reading, right? We got a high reading from multiple. It went over so 2000. It went to 2000, 3000, in mm. fact 3500 if I remember. That was in Vikas Puri. Okay. And then mm. how we validate the data is we use the triangulation method. Okay. When yeah. we take we draw a triangle. Okay. Like best of 3 or something. And then we see like if the sensor mm-hmm. has not drifted. Okay. Or it's giving the real value. So we had South Delhi did pretty good in terms of pollution mm-hmm. when it was the valley. And it was not just one sensor which was showing low values. All the mm-hmm. sensors which were there. Yeah. They were giving us pretty decent well not lower values when you would compare it with North Delhi or East Delhi. Yeah. Approximately how many sensors are there in Delhi? In Delhi, we have about 147. Okay. 147 to be precise. Yeah, not about. That's good. Which as of today mm-hmm. are giving us the data. <clears throat> And we mm-hmm. plan our aim is to have more than 1000 in a city. We must have thought about what could be the best solutions to reduce pollution i mean we talk about it in schools and in the papers but what would be the most uh, optimum ideas to go for i mean this kind of question 
people should ask the policy makers. Yeah. We can just protect from the pollution. We cannot yeah. really reduce mm. the pollution by ourselves. I mean, we can stop buying cars which mm. are using diesel as a fuel. Yeah. We can buy electric car. I yeah. drive an electric car, okay. Mahindra. Yeah. But people are not willing to give up diesel for an electric yeah. car. Yeah, and policy makers should be the one who should really mm. take a pledge to reduce the pollution. Yeah. Do you have any uh, piece of advice for the viewers? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's yeah. happening. It's not something that people say, oh, we're going to die early. There are many studies that have, many researchers have done studies that prove that you are damaging your brain, your heart, your lungs by breathing polluted air. Yeah. So this AQI thing is a number that we derive from PM2.5. This number can actually help you live longer. If you check on this number and plan your activities properly, air purifiers work. They really work. People say they remove, they reduce your immunity. Okay. They actually help you live longer. When yeah. you're in a car, don't roll down your windows. Mm. Have your windows up. Use a purifier or something inside your car. Yeah. And it is happening. People are going to die early in this city or in this country just because mm. air is not clean enough. Yeah. In Bangkok last month at 170 of mm. AQI, not even PM 2.5 of 170, they shut down all the schools. Right. That's all. And we got a huge, we mm. ourselves, we don't know why, people from Thailand, we got hundreds of downloads of our app okay. where people were checking even though we don't have any sensors in Thailand. Yeah. But it's something that policy makers should worry about and do and mm -hmm. we should we can do what is best, like really, electric cars, they are the future, you should buy them right now. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for this. Yeah, interview. thank you for having me. Any yeah, and thanks. Uh, it was good to sh uh, learn all this new information and I'm sure the viewers have also learned something new today. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. And you can check out aqi.in. That is the website. Uh, and we'll join you again for another video next time. Thank you.